Today we're going to talk about the Zig Clean Color Dot Pen. It is a double-ended marker and there are 12 different colors but 24 different tips. And we're going to make our let your light shine. So let's get at it. The great part about the, the Clean Color Dot is that they are double-ended so I tease, they're double the pleasure, double the fun, double the creativity, all in one. And they um, have the color of the cap denotes the color of the ink. And then the color, you can see the little pictures on the side of the barrel that tell you which end is which. This is the fine end, the .05, and then this is the large dot end, which we're going to really have a lot of fun with. But a really fun trick is that, see this, see this grooved end of the barrel? That grooved end of the barrel will always be the fine end of the pen or the unique end of the pen. So if you're in the dark, you know which end of the pen you're writing with. And the um, characteristics of this marker is that they are water-based pigment. It is best to store them horizontally so that you can have access to both ends of the marker. The um, as you're going to use the marker tips, because this one is clear, it means that it has a little bit larger tip in it. Now, if you just, you can stack the caps, but if you just put this one on, it's gonna fall off. So you need to take the caps and you need to put them end to end, and then they will stack. So it makes it really nice. The great part about the, the large dot end, which we talked about, is that the amount of pressure that you put on it will create a different um, size tip on it. So I'm just going to take it and push it up and down and I'm just going to push down. This is about medium pressure so that it just fills in those dots perfectly. Then, so now that we have that we have that done, then we're going to add some lettering to it. And the lettering that we're going to do is Fun in that it's going to make serifs that are rounded. So we're just going to put about medium pressure on this and because we're going to teach you shadow lettering we want to not push um, all the way hard and we want to leave a little bit of space in between the letters so that we will be able to Forgetting that. So again, you're just pushing it down, and the perfect part is that this nice squishy end on the end of it makes this perfect little rounded serif on it. Now the trick to doing The trick to doing um, your lettering is that you're going to take and on your shadowing. So when we shadow, I flipped over to the skinny end of the marker or that grooved end of the marker. And we're going to pretend that our light source is right over here on the right. So our shadow will always fall to the left. So we're going to come with the fine end and we're just going to add a shadow line to the left of everything that is here. So as we come around, it will do it that way. So there we go. It will do that. Now, you can add different types of lettering shadows, letters. So here we're going, just going to do three little lines, almost like little sunbeams that will add. And it's just to do a stitched type of shadow lettering is a lot of fun. And we'll come and use, again, groove, grooved end of the barrel, the fine end, so that it will take it and get it. So we can just add that shadow mark. And it gets a little bit addicting because it's so fun just to think, okay, I need to put it on the left of each of my letters that way. So then that will do it that way. Now the next thing that we want to do is I've printed these on watercolor paper. So we are going to use a, 
couple of Fudibuori pens. Now the characteristics of these is that they are water-based dye ink and so we're also going to use a Kuratake Zig water brush in order to enliven the ink. So we're going to take the Fudibiori and we're just going to add it on like three or four different places here. And you always want to have the, um, the tip of this flexible brush tip, which is wonderful on these. And you always want to have that tip facing the edge of your artwork. So we're just going to add those. Then we're going to take our water brush and this is great because you can take a trap, you can take water with you traveling and such like that. You want to push the end, but you never want to do it onto a project because you would want to have it so that it's nice and wet. And what you'll do is you're just going to start and you're going to enliven the ink and then you're just going to move it around. So it just gives this fun watercolor effect and pulling it around that way. You can wipe off your brush tip in between, which I'll do, and then I'm going to take and I'm going to put my brush pointing up, up so that I can pull it across and just give that watercolor effect in there. It adds a shadow line also so that it will create a watermark that way. And so that's fun to do that way. Then, we're going to, because I love light bulbs, I think light bulbs to me are a sign of an idea or a creative thing. And one of the other fun things that you can do with a clean color dot is when you push it and then pull it, push it and pull it, it makes perfect little hearts. And then another pen we're gonna use is a Zig Millennium. The Zig Millennium you can use with watercolor because it is a pigment based just like the clean color dot is also. So I'm going to take and just create around the outside edge here. And so there we can let our light shine. So we have our, our little cute light bulb. Then the next thing that we want to do is we want to add um, a border on this. We want to come along and I'm going to use the the clean color dot. This is the color will tell you on the platinum. This is the platinum color and again we're going to use the marker and we're going to come along and we're just going to evenly space out and this time I am actually pushing a little harder so that it is making a bit of a larger dot Then I'm going to flip over to that skinny end of the marker and I find that when I'm trying to do a border I like to purposely make my lines squiggly because that way they look creative rather than crooked. There we go. Now the other thing that you can do is you can use it to make, have it printed onto it and just go ahead and use the accents to color in. But there we go. There's our let your light shine. Now because um, we want to teach you a couple of letters, borders, and doodles, we're going to continue on. We're going to use the Zig Clean Color Dot and again it is water-based pigment ink and which means it's light, fast, waterproof, fade proof, and non-bleeding. But this time when I do it, I'm gonna push a little bit harder. And can you see how it's going to just fill in that larger dot now? And then I could go ahead and do the, add my Fudi Biori, which is water, water-based dye ink, which means it will, it will move once we watercolor it. Again, you want to keep the tip of your marker toward the outside edge so that it will pull in. And again, we're just going to start and we're just going to enliven that ink and then move it around. It's a really fun 
technique that you can do with um, any of the water-based dye inks. We'll wipe off that tip again and then again I'm going to take and I'm just going to pull this across just so that it moves and gives us that illusion of that jar of flowers being that way. So the next thing we want to do is we want to do some lettering and this time we're going to pull and it's interesting in in calligraphy or such like that pen widths becomes an important thing so if I'm going to come and I'm going to push these hard I'm going to do one two three four five those five pen widths actually tell me how large my letter should be so I'm going to come along and do my A, and these letters would be what we call sans serif. They do not have a, a letter ending on them, but they have this great little circle on the end of each of them. And so let's get some, let's get a variety of colors that we can play with here. So, um, let's see. So, so our B, now when you're doing a simple printed letter, you remember that it's just made up of sticks and circles. So we're doing, going to do a stick and then we're going to come around and we're going to say to ourselves, oh, I want that to be really round like a um, part of a, of a circle or such like that. Okay, let's leave these on. So I'm going to, again, stack my caps so that they're like that. And then, again, the color will show you here. This is the kiwi color which will always tell you which end is which. So we're going to stack our caps. Then we're going to think to ourselves, I want that to be very round and continue on that way. So I, I have prepared some of, the, some of the letters. And you'll notice again that they're just sticks and circles, sticks and circles. And so here, when it becomes an O, because this is a great dot pen, we're going to just start and we're going to think to ourselves, oh, I want that to be very round. And so I'm going to fill that in. And then a fun thing, so I've gone on and I've done all my alphabet. Now you'll notice I have did my V, but a fun t tip or trick to do with your W is that you do a V and then you do another V right on top of it. So it makes it a really fun type of a letter. And then we're going to stack this cap again. And we're going to do our Y. Again, just if it's a stick, then you just say to yourself, I want this to be very round. I want that to be um, that way. And then our Z. Now you can add onto your letters sometimes you can do little doodles on top of them. I could come along and I could do little hash marks. I can come along and do flipping over to the skinny end. I can do bows. Now you would never want to do them all the same place. You want to have your letters and what your your little doodles that you're doing, then you want them to be at different heights so that it looks unique that way. So that's a fun technique that you can do with that. Now you'll notice these were five large dots. Now these are five medium pressure dots. So if we're going to do our, our numbers, then I'm not gonna push quite as hard. And you can see that that's how big this should be to do it that way. So we'll do um, a dot in between. And again, just using medium pressure on it and I'm gonna get our colors all, all the beautiful colors. So there are 12 colors in the clean color dot and they again are double ended so it's like getting oh we're gonna do we're gonna do a five that has a different tip on it. There we go. And
you know, when you're, when you're doing calligraphy or writing, sometimes you start to misspell things because you're thinking about how I'm going to draw that rather than how am I going to do that. So we're going to use, we're going to do the number six. So this time we're going to come up, up a little bit and we'll do it so that we've got our down and our up and can have fun with them that way. And now because this is a round, um, a round pen and it makes these great, our, our eight's just going to be two circles on top of each other. And then our nine, I like to always draw, draw them up, above and below so that we can have fun with them that way. And then So the other fun thing to do with any of the zig markers is the fun doodles that they will do. So in this case, we are going to use that push-pull, and we're going to start and we're going to push, and then we're going to pull it down. So we push and pull it down, push and pull it down, and it makes perfect little hearts. So we can push and pull, and then we can take our kiwi and push and pull. Let's go ahead and do all of those so we can have fun. Then flip over to the other end of the marker and we'll just pull it down to make our stem and then we can add, now in this case we're going to start out and we're going to pull into our leaf and then this is a great dotting pen. You can make all the cute little dots and, and things like that. Then on this one, if you just make little V's, they are perfect little hearts. Now I always find that like triple dots always add a little bit of um, taking away all that white space. Then if you want to make a, a flower, a, a circle flower, this is my tip for it, is that you're going to do one dot and then you're going to come and let's go ahead and put our center of our flower below it. Then we're going to come and do to the left, to the right, and then fill these in. And if you do it that way, the great part about it is that it will, they'll be perfectly centered because if you try and go around, all of a sudden it's, they're not all lined up that way. So um, again, if we move over here, we can take our straight edge and we can pull this in and then we can come and do our dots. The other fun thing that you can do with this is that you can create and just do some little grass around it. So there's lots of fun doodles that you can do using the Zig Clean Color Dot. And again, the Zig Clean Color Dot is a wonderful marker that is double-ended, double the pleasure, double the fun, double the creativity all in one. This is a water-based pigment, and which means that it will be light, fast, waterproof, fade-proof, and non-bleeding. So it's a great marker from Zig Kuratake. We are going to use the Zig Clean Color Dot pen along with a water-based dye ink Fudi Biori pen in order to do some water coloring and then to create this shine light bulb. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a punch to create a stencil. So I went ahead and I, I punched each of these out so that I could um, have this. Then I'm going to lay my stencil down. So essentially we've just used a punch to create a stencil. And then I'm going to take and use the Fudi Biori, and again water-based dye ink, and I'm going to just trace around the edge of this. So it's so fun when you have any punches or, or you can use stencils but you can create your own stencil. 
So I've used the Foodie Biore pen. Now I'm going to use the watercolor, Zig watercolor brush marker. I'm going to take this away and I'm going to come and I'm going to just watercolor and just pull that color in. Because I'm going to punch it out again, I can go outside of the lines, but I'm pulling all of my color into the middle in order to just have that, give that fun watercolor effect to it. Then I'm going to take my punch, now that I'm done with that, and I'm going to insert it. And then I'll go ahead and punch that out. Then I'm going to take and do another punch here to just give us a, a, a dot for our twine. Then I'm going to take the Zig Clean Color Dot and it's going to use, again, stack the caps up end to end that way. And I'm going to write the word just shine. Putting about medium pressure on it. And you'll notice it makes great rounded letter ending of our letters. Then I'm going to take a Zig Millennium. This is an O3, the great part it shows you on the cap. It shows you around the outside edge of the of the marker. And I'm going to just come along and I'm just going to shadow inside. So we're going to let our light shine on our cute light bulb gift. So we'll take our light bulb, we'll take some twine, and we'll go ahead and tie it on. String it through. So there we have our shine light bulb using our Zig Clean Color Dot and our Foodie Biore and our watercolor markers to be able to create a great little gift item.